So when I got my elf ball, I wrote a little waltz for it. It's called La Carnival Waltz, which I then simply couldn't even record it on a cylinder recording on that ah. cylinder in Sheffield. And you can buy it, and um, you can listen to the whole thing on MP3, I'll send it to you. But um, yeah, because I was like, I really want a nice early sort of 1910s plectrum waltz published for six string guitar, and I just kind of couldn't find one. Another reason why, because all of those, like the Bowman stuff, it's, it's all like amateur, it's not like, you know, really hard music. Sure. So I wrote this. Sounds better for 1910s, funnily enough, not 20s and 30s. 
Funnily enough, that's what it sounds like. Funnily enough, that's what it sounds When I played my waltz, it sounded clearer, brighter, and happy. I'll be with you in Apple. Oh, this is 1919. Apple Blossom Time. I'll be with you to change your name to mine. Oh, one day in May, I'll come and say, Happy the bright, the sun shines on. So much fun. Yeah. You're listening to the mellow sounds of the brand new culture. Edison Records. Yeah. 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 Instantly. Well, I'm making quick decisions. All right. And like, so I can't believe you can find uh, the, the, the notes. Never having played this tuning. Well, I know, I've I know known how it's tuned for like six years. Tunes, so you yeah. Just are, yeah. Well, I make an educated guess. I mean, I'm usually one out, aren't I? You know. I'm not going to play a B. You're right. No, you, you know, know like whatever. That's all you need uh, to know. Thank you. 
See, I got addicted cool. to it. I'll tell you who sings it beautifully. Nick Lucas. <laughs> 